So I don't do as many reviews on templates as I used to do. However, when I do one, it has to be a very special template. So today we will be reviewing a full template for Premiere Pro called Base Library, which comes with 1500 elements like transitions, titles, video effects, sound effects, and more that we'll talk about later in this video. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome today. So for you video editors and producers out there that use Premiere Pro, if you're looking to speed up your workflow, save time and produce awesome work, this review will be a perfect insight into a 1500 template pack for Premiere Pro from i1 Studio, who's an author on videohive.net. And at any time you want to take a look at all the templates in this pack, I will drop the link below so you can take a look at all the elements in the pack. And you also download a free version so you can try it out for yourself. All right, so here we are in Premiere Pro, and this is the Atom X extension with base library with all 1500 elements in here, and the same extension that I use for my own packs that we sell on our website. And you can download a free trial of this pack by just going to our link in the description, and you can download a free demo pack so you can kind of get an idea of how this works if you're interested, or you can just pick up the entire pack if you like our review video here. And how this works is very simple. You have a handful of different categories here. You can hover over, you know, the template you want to apply. So if you need a title template, you can look at the animation before you apply it. And simply how it works, you just double click on the animation that you want and it'll import it into your project. And with a click of a button, it adds a full title animation into our, you know, edit here that will animate outward. And how we update some of the elements in this pack, like the titles, is very simple. And by clicking on the graphics tab here in Premiere, you go to the essential graphics tab, and this is where you can update all your titles and other elements used by the base library. So we can come here and change our title and we change colors as we see fit as well. So you have a bunch of different parameters that you can change. So we have a bunch of other elements in this pack like transitions, which is a third of the elements in this pack. And what we can do is click on the transitions category here and you'll see that we have a bunch of different categories of transitions that we can apply to our footage with a drag and a drop. For example, we go in the zoom category, we have a different other sub subcategories in here as well. What we can do is put our playhead at the cut of the, you know, the footage here and just double click the transition we want to apply. And now with this very nice transition applied, it applies this very smooth and seamless transition to our clips here. And now what we can do is start building out our sequence of transitions if we want to use these seamless type transitions. And there's a bunch in here as well with different types of things. So light leaks and you can preview every transition before you apply it. So if we want this one, we can just double click that in there. And of course, if you don't want the audio effect, you can just delete it. It's up to you, however you want to do this. And I have to say, out of all the transitions packs I've used for Premiere Pro and using out the extension like Adam X here, this is probably the best way to apply transitions. It's very quick and I don't have to worry about any technical things. So, so I love using transitions out of the extension here. So now we've decked out our edit with some transitions here and it just looks really nice being able to quickly apply some really seamless transitions to help out our edit with different categories and these work. So I'm very happy with these transitions out of base library, really well done and put together with the extension. And there's a handful of other templates in here like these typography screens here, which are really great for just displaying information with a nice design. So I can come here and bring this into our timeline. And once before I can go back to our graphics tab and I come back here to our essential graphics tab and easily change out everything. Everything is nicely categorized as well. So I'm coming here and change out our titles. And obviously by changing out our titles here, this looks really great. Obviously I can go through each of the text colors and different controls here and really start customizing this template to my liking. So, you know, that is pretty cool being able to put together like an end screen with some information. You have that option with this pack. Uh, really cool with the variety of elements so far uh, in this one. So obviously you have your essential social media, lower thirds that you can come in here. So anytime you're adding a video, I'm sure you're gonna need to you know, say, hey, follow me here or for your client. Really helpful to have those. So one thing that I really like that you really think about having is a library of effects. And there's a handful of creative effects in this one as well. So if you're looking to, you know, add something to your footage to help make it stand out a little bit more, uh, you have a handful of different categories in this one and how it works is very simple. So we already have our transitions in here. Perhaps I wanna add some creative glitches to this clip. So maybe I'll just come here add that in there and now if our creative effects applied we added a quick glitch effect to our footage so a lot of different elements in here something you don't really think about having but it's nice to have it in a pack like this and of course there's a library of sound effects that are easy to apply or easy to preview and then of course apply and you have a handful of those as well so my full thoughts on this pack is that it's really easy to put together full edits uh, with base library with everything that it has offered from the transitions to the titles uh, to the creative effects available which makes the editing process so much easier i'm very happy this pack because of one it has not crashed on me at all and you know when i'm using premiere pro templates you know in the past i usually have issues with it crashing and so far since i've been using this pack there has not crashed on me one time 
which is amazing and all the elements just work so i really like this pack because it's solid and it's reliable and it works and that's something i'm looking for when you know especially looking for premiere pro templates i just need it to work and do its job and this is what that does and remember you can download a free demo pack if you want to try this out so a really good job from i want studio and i can't wait to see what else they put out so that is my review on base library if you want to take a look at all the elements in this pack remember those links are below it'll take you right over to the page where you can take a look at every element base library has to offer so i hope you enjoyed this review if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are below and always be creating